Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today, let's discuss about the recruitment module of Odoo 16. Recruitment is the process of appointing employees after selecting the most suitable candidates from a list of candidates. The selection process can be completed using different methods. The process takes a lot of time and effort. Usually, the recruitment process is carried out in an organization by the HR wing of the organization. But Odoo provides this recruiting module to make that work easier. Using Odoo recruitment module, you can easily recruit a person and also manage all the process coming after the recruitment. For that, let's open the recruitment module. Now inside the recruitment module, once you open it, you can see the job positions. So you have different views, which is Kanban view and list view. So these are all the created job positions. Just click on create here. You can create a new job position. So if you're clicking on creating a new job position, which is sales manager, you can see that has been added here. Okay. If you want, go to the configuration. In the action, you can easily delete it as well. Okay. So it's deleted. So these are the job positions and if you want to, let's add it again, teacher, create. So once you give the name itself, this view is available for that particular job position. And here you can specify how many vacancies are there. You can see how many applications have come till now. Okay, so let's click on the three dots here. Here we have the configuration. So inside the configuration, you have the recruitment details where you can specify the target. So I'm giving the target as five, which is you need five employees or simply you have five vacancies. And this is, is published. It's asking whether it's published in the website. So just publish it. Only then you can accept applications through website and only then it will be seen in the website. Now here you can give the recruiter. Who is the recruiter? I've given Michelle Edmund and the interviewers who are going to interview the applicants. You also have the interview form. Out of these, you can choose the interview form. So here you have an option to preview the form. Just click on display interview form. So this will be the form. You can just start survey here and, uh, you know, answer the questions. So I'm closing it. Let's go back to our module, which is recruitment. Okay. So once it's published, you can see that published tag has come. So here in case of teacher, you can see published tag has come five to recruit and zero new applications. So if you want to see the applications, just click on that. Now let's see how to apply. Click on the three dots configuration, go to website. And just click on apply now specify a name so giving harry and clicking on i'm feeling lucky which is nothing but submit going back to recruitment you can see there is one new application opening the application it's currently in initial qualification stage so you can easily drag and drop and change the stages and once it's reaching the final stage it becomes hired that is that person becomes hired just open the application form here you can generate offer letter to that person okay just click on send then add send if you want to create an employee with this person create employee this is the employee creation form okay and just save it which means an employee with this name has been created so let's go and check if it's created open the employee module now inside the employee, you can see Harry has been created. Let's go back to the recruitment module. So inside the teacher configuration, here you can see zero applications because the one which applied has been hired. 
so no longer it will be found under applications so if you want you can also refuse this how just click on refuse and you have to choose a refuse reason here and then submit so i'm cancelling it there so these are the basic steps of uh, you know recruiting a person or an employee now inside the application you can see the applications by job position which we are currently seeing and if you want to see all application you can see that as well so here also we have the kanban view list view which we saw first pivot view the graph view and also the calendar and activity okay so next in the reporting section we have the recruitment analysis which shows the details of the recruiting so here you have the sources and also how many are hired and how many are in progress now as you know inside graph view we have bar chart line chart and pie chart okay you have various filters from which you can choose you have group by and favorites okay so here you have measures also so you can view it according to your desired measure now next we have the source analysis this is the analysis of source so here you can see facebook linkedin and all our different sources analysis based on sources will be seen here here also we have pivot view okay and inside the graph view we have bar chart line chart and pie chart okay next is the time and stage analysis that is how many time or how much time uh, is it in the stage okay for consultant how many days it's have taken everything in detail is given inside the uh, time and stage analysis where you have graph view you have the pivot view here here also you have the very same filters which are given in the source and recruitment analysis next you have the team performances which shows the graphical representation of the performance of the team members here you have the performance of mark demo and also michelle admin so blue color represents in progress and orange color represents hired so mark demo has four in progress and one hired and michelle admin has 11 in progress and three hired okay so here you have line chart pie chart okay that's all inside the reporting it's complete analysis of the recruitment now here under the configuration you have we'll start from the end which is the activity types so activities are nothing but calls emails meetings discussion and all so if you want you can create an activity type here so i'm creating one called the discussion okay so the action to be done can be chosen here default user default summary default note and the chaining type suggest next activity or trigger the next activity what should do next and if to suggest what okay email template can be chosen from here schedule in how many days after pro after the deadline that is also shown here just saving it you can see discussion is added here okay so these are the activity types and here we have the departments so if you want you can simply add a department so i'm adding a department called it manager of the department can be chosen and the parent department okay custom appraisal templates that is also chosen here okay so just save it this is how you create a department so here you can see it next we have the refuse reasons that is while refusing a application you can choose the refuse reasons also so these are the reasons okay so if you want you can create a new one click on create and give a particular reason okay next you have the employment types which are like permanent temporary interim and all you can create type from here so these are all choose it in the application you have the settings finally where we have the online posting send interview survey cv display and cv digitalization this is to digitalize your cv and extract name and email automatically this is to send messages okay to your contacts and this is to uh, send the interview survey 
this is to display our cv on the application form and this is for posting available jobs online okay so these are the main things which comes under the recruitment module i hope it's clear